Hello again, and welcome back to your second week of learning how to read. What is a syllable? A syllable is a part of a word that contains sounds. We sometimes refer to it as the beat in a word. Another way to describe it is a mouthful of word. Watch how our jaw moves when we say words to show syllables. Let's see how many times our jaw moves in the word apple. Touch your cheeks. Apple. Apple. How many times did your jaw move? Apple. Twice. When we hold our jaw and say words, we can feel our mouth opening and closing to show syllables. Let's try some more words and count the syllables in the words. Let's count syllables in words. Baby. Now let's say it slowly and tick the syllables. Baby. There are two syllables in the word baby. Let's count the syllables in the word dinosaur. We'll say it slowly and tick the syllables. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. There are three syllables in the word dinosaur. Let's try dog. Count the syllables in the word dog. Dog. There is one syllable in the word dog. Now let's try pizza. Say it slowly and tick the syllables. Pizza. Pizza. There are two syllables in the word pizza. Let's play a game to help us practice counting syllables. If a word has one syllable, we'll put it in this box. If it has two syllables, we'll put it here. Or three syllables, we'll put it in the final box. We will start with flower. Say it slowly. Flower. How many syllables? Two. Cup. Say it. Cup. How many syllables? Just one. Triangle. Work out how many syllables. Triangle. That's right. Three. What about spider? Say it and work it out. Spider. Only two syllables. Let's try newspaper. Say it and count it. Newspaper. Three syllables. Let's try shoes. Shoes. There's only one syllable in shoes. Remember that syllables are sometimes referred to as the beat in words. So we are going to clap syllables in words now and we will record our claps as X's on the bottom of the paper. Let's try monkey. Monkey. Let's clap the syllables. Monkey. There are two claps, so we'll put two X's in the bottom to show that there are two syllables in the word monkey. This time, we will clap syllables in the word dress. Ready? Dress. There was only one syllable, so we only need one X. How many syllables in the word crocodile? Say it slowly and clap for each mouthful of sounds. Crocodile. There are four syllables in the word crocodile. Clap the syllables in the word crayon. Say it slowly and clap. Crayon. Crayon. There are two syllables in the word crayon. Now we will count the syllables in watermelon. Say it slowly and clap each syllable. Watermelon. There are four syllables in the word watermelon. Here is another one. Ant. 
clap the syllables in the word ant. Ant. There is only one syllable in the word ant. Clap the syllables in the word carrot. Say carrot. Say it slowly and clap the syllables. Carrot. There are two syllables in the word carrot. This time I want you to break words into syllables by clapping but without the picture. The first word is soccer. Clap the syllables in soccer. Soccer. There are two syllables in the word soccer. Try clapping the syllables in the word banana. Banana. Did you get three? Clap the syllables in the word bone. Bone. Did you say that there was only one syllable in the word bone? The last one for our lesson today is harmonica. Say it slowly and clap the syllables. Harmonica. Harmonica has four syllables. Now it's time for you to practice counting syllables in words. In your activities link under this lesson, you will find a link to this page. You need to choose different things that you want to count syllables for, whether they be names of people in your family or things around the house, such as a television or carpet or a fridge. In each space, you may draw the object or the person that you are counting the syllables for the name, uh, for the word. And then once you have clapped the syllables in each word, I want you to put crosses or X's in the spaces underneath to show how many syllables are in each word. Have fun counting syllables in words and I will see you in the next lesson.